Joe has learned at some point in his life how important it is to serve others. With Joe's passion and commitment, he just sets the bar so high. He's just so focused and so riveted to his mission. Joe is just passionate about life. What he has the most pride in is serving his country. Joe and Raymalou are just dedicated to making this city and all of our lives better than when they came. Joe Craver grew up in Arizona, dreaming about becoming a pilot like his father. He earned his BS at Arizona State and his MA at prestigious Stanford University. Later, he graduated from the Industrial College of the Armed Forces in Washington, D.C. As an Air Force pilot, Joe courageously served our country for 26 years. So how many people do you know who are real wartime heroes? I mean, Purple Heart, Silver Star, I mean, Joe Craver. He is a decorated, much decorated uh, war hero. The Purple Heart is awarded when you're uh, injured in battle. He has that award. The Distinguished Flying Cross is only given for specific flying actions. Joe not only has a Distinguished Flying Cross for his airmanship skills, uh, significant flying capabilities, but also for gallantry during Vietnam. The Bronze Star is right behind the Silver Star and the Medal of Honor, which is the most prestigious award any warrior can receive. Joe has a Bronze Star from his gallantry in Vietnam. So I think if you look at that, you, you have an officer who not only leads commands, who not only commands the respect of all those around him, but in time of conflict and when the fight's really on, Joe excels. He's a national hero. During his extraordinary military career, Mr. Craver flew more than 210 combat missions over Vietnam from 1967 to 1968 and logged over 8,000 flying hours. Mr. Craver retired as Colonel in the U.S. Air Force. When you're in the service, and I'm not just talking about the military, I'm talking about any public enterprise where your job is to do for we the people and then take care of yourself afterwards. Uh, when you learn that and it's bred into you, I think it comes out and you become the kind of leader that, uh, that espouses those views in everything you do. Joe is one of the most compassionate, sincere, meaningful people that I've ever known. He is honest to a fault. He wants to go along to get along, but he's not afraid to express his opinion, and he's not afraid to disagree with others in the room. That's what, to me, a sign of a good leader is all about. Whenever Joe talks, people listen, because he's just got a wealth of experience. He has been the chair of almost every organization in town, been Mr. San Diego for the Rotary, uh, which is a huge accomplishment. And I think people really value what he has to say and listen to his advice. He has been in leadership positions throughout his certainly distinguished Air Force career and as a leader here in San Diego because people around him have chosen to put him in a leadership position, not because Joe has seeked out those positions. He likes to help people and uh, he likes to be involved. Uh, he likes to support various uh, causes that he believes in and uh, he's just not someone to sit home and, and play Tiddly Winks or something. When we were at the chamber, it was, it was a difficult and challenging time. Financially, uh, we were changing leaders, and he was just a steady, reliable leader who, who really brought a sense of real positive optimism and outcome to it so that we really focused in on what was most important and I thought he was just a terrific and calming leader during that time. He has such a compassion for our community uh, and wants to give back so much, has so much energy, is blessed with good health that you know he just gets out there every day with a gusto for life that uh, you see it in him every single day. This is what is left of my home just outside the forest ranch area. Every single day, someone's life is destroyed by fire or a number of other things. It's not just the big, big problems. But Joe's world is how do you prepare for what could be the absolute worst thing for you as an individual, your family, or an entire region. So Joe has built a prepared organization that's put itself in place so that when there is a disaster in your life, or in our region, 
somebody is going to be there to care for you, take care of you, and try to put your life back together. Joe was uh, absolutely perfect to be in leadership during the 2007 wildfires. Uh, he has been tested uh, probably far more than most of us, uh, and it's just that calm leadership style that allowed all of his folks to go out and do a tremendous job in the community, uh, get the shelters going, get the services going. Uh, working with him was an absolute pleasure. During these 2007 fires, we had to fight uh, to make sure San Diego got everything it was supposed to get and Joe led that charge. He just really grew to the occasion and just was a wonderful face of the organization. In no time at all, just easily managed all the chaos and everything that was coming at him. But it was a crazy time and it was a, a wonderful time to have a solid leader like Joe in the position. Joe Craver is devoted to his country, family, and to the people of San Diego. During his 25 years of community involvement, Mr. Craver has served as chairman, on board of directors, or president of more than 18 community-involved organizations. You know, Joe is just, he's such an incredibly driven man. He, um, you know, he's achieved so much. So many people in Joe's position who have done the amazing things that Joe have done, has done would just say, you know, I'm good. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna sit on my boat. I'm gonna enjoy life. And he does, he enjoys life, but the way he does it is just to continue to achieve and continue to make things better, whether it's for an organization like the Red Cross, whether it's for the San Diego community, or whether it's for his family. And I think the thing that drives Joe is just that internal sense of always wanting to make things better for other people and just to continue to contribute and, and, and to, make, to make life special for everybody around him. And I, I think that's what makes Joe so special. He brings all of that love into everything that he does. I've been absolutely fascinated with the courage and heroism in his career. So I, I just think that Joe's a true American hero and we're lucky to have him in San Diego. Everything that he does comes out showing that passion that he has and he has a passion for people. I mean, what hasn't he done? I mean, he's just a tremendous public servant and who's just so committed and loves San Diego. I believe that people will listen to him because his wisdom comes out. I mean, his experience has been incredible over the years and, and people know that. Joe has a, uh, an innate ability to get people involved with him and to uh, believe in, in what he's doing and to uh, give 100%. With Joe's passion and commitment, he just sets the bar so high and challenges his colleagues to do the best that they possibly can do. Joe, thank you for all you've done for your country and our community. You are a true role model for so many. As a decorated veteran, devoted friend, community partner, business partner, husband and colleague, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your compassion, vision and leadership are truly appreciated and treasured by the lives you have touched.